What do you mean by state space analysis of discrete time signals in control systems? Well, my name is Vishwaram Ju, and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community, where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term state space analysis of discrete time signals in control systems? Well, let's find out. So, before we dig into the state space representation of discrete time signals, let's understand why we need to analyze these particular control systems in the discrete time domain. So here, let us consider a particular control system like this. Let this be a particular control system. So let us assume that the signals that are associated with this particular control system, that is the input signal, the output signal, etc., etc., let us assume that these are in the discrete time domain. So here, all these are discrete time signals. Then, if all the signals that are associated with a particular control system are discrete time signals, that is when we do all the analysis regarding this particular control system in the discrete time domain. Or, or the second case, if this particular control system, let us assume that all the elements in this control system are working in the continuous time domain itself. But at some point, if this particular control system, the signals associated with this particular control systems are in the discrete time domain, that is when we do the analysis techniques in the discrete time domain. So I have written it down. We do the analysis in the discrete time domain if the signals in the control system are discrete time signals or if the control system has continuous time elements but at some point, at some point the signals are discrete. So I've discussed in detail what I refer to as a discrete time signal. If you haven't watched that video, please do watch it. I'll leave the link in the description below. So here, for the purpose of state space representation of control systems in the discrete time domain, we have certain variables. So here, the first variable is nothing but the state variable. So here, the state variable is represented as x1 of k plus 1, comma, x2 of k plus 1, so on, so on, up to xn of k plus 1. Similarly, we have the input variables given as u1 of k, u2 of k, etc., up to un of k. And finally, we have the output variables given as y1 of k, y2 of k, etc., up to yn of k. So these are the variables that are used for the purpose of state space representation of discrete time signals. So here, the state model of a control system in the discrete time domain. So the state model is nothing but the combination of two equations, the state equation and the output equation. So in the case of a continuous time system, we had the state equation given as x dash is equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t. And similarly, we had the output equation given as y is equal to c into x of t plus d into u of t. But rather, here in the discrete time domain, we have the state equation as x of k plus 1 is equal to a into x of k plus b into u of k. And similarly, the output equation is given as y of k is equal to c into x of k plus d into u of k. So this is simply the state model in the case of a discrete time domain of a particular control system. It consists of two equations. First one is the state equation and the second one is the output equation. Here, A is nothing but the state matrix, B is the input matrix, C is the output matrix, and D is the transmission matrix. This thus is simply how you represent a particular control system using the state space analysis in the discrete time domain. As simple as that, guys. There's nothing more to it.
This thus is simply what you refer to as state space representation of discrete time signals. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as state space representation of discrete time signals. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.